you are listening. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. What's popping? What's happening? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I haven't been online for a minute. Well, I've been online, but I haven't been putting content out lately. Baby, I was tired. Plus, I was handling some things uh, behind the scenes. But anywho, we're going to get some things. Yes, I'm a little bit slightly sleepy. It's like 6.30 right here in Kenya. So kindly drop in the chat where you're watching us from and let's get straight into some things honey what's going what's popping y'all oh my goodness a lot is happening a lot is happening in regards to hamisa mobeto her son tanasha donna's son zaris a lot is happening and like i told you in the past it's all about your perception that is your reality who you believe in the, your favorite, that is the narrative you're going to buy into. At the end of the day, everybody's right and everybody's wrong. Yes, I say what I say. Let me tell you something. I said in the past, even before all these things blew up, because Mr. Mobeto is not even afraid to send people to talk about diamond platinums. And I'll say that without fear of contradiction, not unless Mr. Mobeto come out to debunk what Mangi Kimambi is saying on her app. According to Mangi, she's saying that she spoke with Amisa Mobeto, that everything that she's saying, okay, Amisa Mobeto is cool with. Meaning, Amisa Mobeto and Mangi are cool. So, Amisa Mobeto's fans, you can't be out here mad at what Juma Bichkole is saying. I don't like Juma Bichkole's ass. You all know that I'll be casting the dude out day in, day out. But at the end of the day, just because he loves Diamond and he support whatever it is narrative that Diamond is out here trying to spread, doesn't mean that Amisa Mobeto, what she's doing with Miss Mangi Kimambi is right either. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> we can't be out here pretending like if our brother was in a situation of Diamond Platinums and our brother is out here telling us that that kid doesn't belong to me, we won't, you know, look at the kid sideways. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we won't treat the kid on the wrong way because at the end of the day, they're human beings. But baby, you all know that you will feel some type of a way too. That's why I'm like, I'm kind of understanding where Miss Esma is coming from in the mother. But I'm like, you guys are doing a little bit too much. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I understand, you know, we're all human. We're all human. We all uh, uh, react different to different situations. So I'll tell you a little bit of what I had. So what happened is, and I told you, let me let me say something else. I told you that immediately Diamond posts any of the kids during birthdays or doesn't post, that will automatically be like a story that people want to talk about. And every time it will be Dylan's birthday, people will always want to drag the poor kid. Every time it will be NJ, Baby Tifa, uh, Nealon's birthday, and Diamond be out here doing the most with these three kids, but not with Neil, Dylan, people will automatically be dragging this kid. So I'm saying this kid will be forever, not unless Diamond and Miss Hamisa Mobeto do something about it. But the p bad thing, the bad thing about this is the kid is growing, y'all. Yeah? And can you imagine if this kid grows and the only insult that people can come up with insulting him because we, they all know that it will hurt him the most is, do you even know who your daddy is? You know what I'm saying? Because uh, the man that your mother say your daddy is, he ain't your daddy. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, what happened is, <clears throat> Diamond Platinums, you know, ever since NJ was in Tanzania, NJ have been in Tanzania more than a month. Good month. Because we remember the birthday was around 2nd October. But NJ was in TZ way before that. Because we saw Tanasha Donna and Amisa Mobeto hanging up in the club before October 2nd. I hope that you're following, y'all. After that... After that, yo, we saw Diamond Platinum hanging out and then later on we saw the birthday and then we saw kids from South Africa coming and everybody was like, that's it. 
If y'all guys have any doubt into who Demo Platinum's real blood is, you heard it without him saying, even though I feel like the closest Diamond Platinum's has ever come to tell us that Nilan Dylan, Dylan is not his, is through this video right here on your screen. Yes, that video right there, you know, it has been trending because that is the closest Diamond Platinum's what out here denying baby Dylan saying that. You know, the mother know the truth. She should come out and tell us, like, what's the tea? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so what happened is, what happened is, yeah, uh, people are talking, people are saying, and you all know that Mangi Kimambi like Amisa, even though I feel like she is part of the problem. Mangi Kimambi, I remember you talking about Amisa should take that DNA test for the second time. And then one time you say she shouldn't take it and then she should take it and then she shouldn't take it and then you kind of made it seems like you're doubting if Diamond Panam is the son, is the father of Amisa Mobito's son. Baby, you need to, you know, double check what you'll be saying online. So what happened is, <clears throat> Maggie Kimambi did a, a, a long, long post where she was talking about she know for a fact that Diamo Platinum is the father of Amisa Mubito's son, include, include y'all, telling us that he, she, she has seen that DNA test with her very own Korokoro Aizu. So when she said that, many people of course believed her because she, she carries some weight, you know what I'm saying? She has millions of following. And of course, People were right now on the fence. People are saying, what's the tea, what's going on? And then we saw Amisa Mobito throwing shade. You know, when I said that baby girl was throwing shade, at first I was on the fence saying that she probably, you know, not mean it like that, but it was the timeline for me. It was the timeline. She started posting things like that one on your screen where she was basically talking about, you know, uh, Dylan will be fine. Uh, you're happy for Dylan. He'll be successful and stuff like that. Right? After we saw that play out, of course, people are like, yo, I miss some better one tall smoke. You know what I'm saying? She can't take it. Trust you me. Humans can't take that much. Even at this point, I believe Tanasha Donna and Amisa Mobeto, if they indeed they had that, that true the genuine relationship, uh, friendship, it's definitely threatened. Because there's no way Amisa Mobeto is going to sit back and watch her son being treated like an outcast where Tanasha Donna's son is treated like a favorite. Like, we all humans. We all want the same thing. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, <clears throat> so what happened is, let me show you something. Mangi Kimambi decided to yap. Yes, according to Monkey Kimambi's app, and I'll do that on a, on a part two where I'll be reading the entire thing. According to Mangi, she's saying that Amisa Mobito told her that she's ready to have that DNA test. And I would like Amisa Mobito to come out and tell us that, yo, Mangi, stop using my name for clout. You know what I'm saying? I never told you that. Not unless it's true. And if indeed it's true, then Amisa Mobeto, you are out here looking so bad, let me tell you. Because people have been out here accusing you day in, day out of paying Mangi Kemambi to talk ish about your ops. Yes. Even down on the comment section on my videos, I've been seeing people saying that Amisa Mobeto is out here paying Mangi Kimambi to talk ish about Zari most especially because you all know that Zari and Amisa Mobeto, uh, they're not friends. You know what I'm saying? Based on what happened in the past. None of my business, but baby, <laughs> messiness is my name. So what's good? I have to talk about it. If you don't like my choice of words, when, I talk, when I'm talking about your fave, I've been saying day in, day out, baby, you need to check with your ancestors because I'm not the one, baby. Okay? And if you ask me, I feel like I miss some if this did indeed had didn't happen, because you all know that Maggie be liking to cloud chest a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Because she's taking advantage of it and making it seems like she's like some sort of mediator. Because right now she is calling on Diamond Platinum's to respond to the uh, to to the things that she has to say. It seems like she's a Miss Mobeto spokeswoman. She's out here telling a Miss Mobeto. She's out here telling on behalf of Amisa Mobeto that Diamond Platinums, are you ready for that DNA test outside the country and it should be public? Amisa Mobeto, baby girl, I thought you say you ain't gonna do it. Even if your life depend on it, you ain't gonna do it. Like, what changed? I mean, some of fans like to come for me, you know what I'm saying, and saying that I'm biased, I'm bored, I'm this. Baby, you need to check with your fair first. Which one is it? I've been saying... 
that it doesn't matter if Amisa Mobeto get married with Kevin. Kevin will never do what Diamond Platinums would do to this kid. It doesn't matter if Demo Planum is only spending two days in a year with this kid. That will mean so much to this kid than what Kevin will do his entire life. You know what I'm saying? I'm speaking based on the things that I've seen, on the things that we've seen transpired all over. You know, we should we should we should also look at Demo Platinum's example, right? <laughs> Abdul raised Diamond Platinum's as is. Abdul knew that Diamond was his. I don't know if he was trying to play, you know, some, you know, he knew what was going on, but he was just trying to play for the sake of the gram and stuff like that. But Abdul raised Diamond Platinum as his. Guess what? Diamond Platinum grew up and looked for his real dad that he barely knew. And he's proud of his dad than the man that raised him. And that is what, that's the reality, y'all. Oh. We can't deny our biology. Bi 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 biology. We always want to know where we came from. We appreciate who stepped up, but we still want to know where we came from. Okay? Diamond Platinum's appreciate Abdul, but guess what? He still needed to belong. That's why he's close with the, the likes of Ricardo Momo, because that is his half brother. He want to get to know those people. Unfortunately, it was a little bit too late for him because Nyange has already died, but he, he, he yearned for that side. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, <coughs> that is just my opinion, okay? This is the part one of the part three series that I'm going to talk about this issue right here. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment. Follow me on IG at Rizzi underscore radio. Don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so that you know whatever I upload. And a shout out to my girl Liz. Shout out to my girl Big Frida. And of course, a shout out to my girl Sasha Brandy. Oh my goodness, I love you. Okay, these girls be keeping me up and date with, uh, you know, receipts on WhatsApp. You guys are amazing, you guys. Anyway, I love you. Oh my goodness, I love you. Okay, keep it classy, stay with us, see what it is.